Europe, we buy and throw away billions and billions of plastic bottles every year. But what happens to these bottles once you put them in the recycling bin? Have you ever wondered where they end up? Let's find out. Well, the good news is that most bottles are made from PET. And PET is incredibly easy to collect, sort and recycle. It's actually the world's most recycled plastic. So I've come to a PET recycling plant here in the east of France to find out how it works. This plant recycles billions of PET drinks bottles every year. And it's just one of hundreds of plants recycling PET bottles and trays right across Europe. To find out more about what's going on, I'm going to speak to Caroline Retta, procurement manager for the recycling company. Caroline, hi. Hi, Michelle. So how do the bottles get here? So the bed bottles or the bed trays are collected and they are first sent to sorting centers. There they are sorted and squashed into bales to ease the transport. Mm -hmm and then they arrive here at the recycling plant. And then where do they go? Now, I will show you. How do the bales get into the system? So here, that's where the bales are cut loose and they are pushed into a conveyor belt and there they will enter the recycling process. So, what's happening now? So the next step, of the process, magnet separation to remove metal, and you have a free rush to remove most of the labels and the glue, and the bottle sorting. After the optical sorting, we also have manual sorting. We have to be sure that we don't let non-PET go further. So after this, the bottles are going further into a grinder, and the bottles are grinded into flakes. So the flakes go through various sorting machines. The machines can detect the material and the color, and they will detect everything which is not PET and not the good color. So here the flakes are coming, and yeah. the silo, they will be dried, melted and filtered and then we get spaghetti of this that will be then cut into pellets. So after this step, the pellets they are going all the way on the other side here into our decontamination unit. The pellets are going under nitrogen to be decontaminated and that makes the pellets food approved to be used in food applications. So how many bottles do you think you process in a day here? In a day it will be approximately four million bottles. Wow, that's a lot of bottles. That's a lot. <laughs> so this is the final product, recycled PET pellets, which are ready to be transported off to make uh, new PET bottles. So we started with these used bottles, which were transformed into PET flakes, which were then turned into these food safe PET pellets to become new bottles. If we all make sure that our PET bottles and trays are collected for recycling, then this process can keep going on and on, closing the loop on the recycling process so fewer bottles end up in waste. PET plastic is made to be remade.